Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to our fourth virtual assembly. In this one, we're going to be focusing on mental health. Now, there's a number of ways to view mental health. The first is to consider it in terms of mental illness. Some people live with conditions such as anxiety or depression, and they might need to seek medical help in the same way that if you had a physical illness, you might need to go to the doctor to get some medical attention. In fact, one in four people throughout their lifetime will go and seek medical, uh, medical attention for a mental illness. One in four people, one quarter of people will have a mental illness at some point in their life. However, the second way to view mental health, and this is what we're going to focus on today, is simply mental well-being. And this is important for everybody. Just as everybody needs to look after their body, their physical health, in order to enjoy life to its fullest, everybody should also look after their head. If you look after your mental well-being, you are much better able to cope with the inevitable ups and downs of life. Looking after your head can help you to deal with times of high stress, such as high pressure events like exams or the inevitable sadnesses of everyday life or indeed the extraordinary events like the lockdown. So, as someone who has had to look after my own mental health, I've put together 10 tips to help you to look after your head so that you can cope better with the stresses that we're dealing with at the moment. So here we go. Number one, possibly the most important. And that is to look after your relationships. Now, we all have a support network of the people around us. And that could be made up of friends and family or teachers or some combination of those. At some point, you might need them for support. So it's very important that you maintain those friendships and those relationships, that you work on them. Tell the people you care for how much you appreciate them. And if you are feeling low, reach out to them. It's really important that you do that. Number two. Number two is exercise. As Mr. King was saying in his assembly on Friday, exercise releases endorphins and that's good for you physically and good for you mentally. You should be doing the activities that Mr. King has set up for you um, and you should take part in the Interform uh, Challenge that was introduced on Friday. Not only will it mean that you interact with people more, but the physical activity is very good for your brain. Number three, you've heard this a lot from your parents, from your teachers, and that is try to eat well. You know, because we've told you hundreds of times that you need the right minerals and nutrients and vitamins in order to function physically, but these things also help you to cope mentally. Eating well makes you stay more focused, it helps you to be calmer, and it helps you to deal with these stressful situations. Number four, is sleep. You should be getting eight hours a day, but it should be regular sleep. So you should have the same bedtime and waking up at the same time each morning so that you're more balanced. It's, it is important, does have a massive effect. Number five, despite the fact that it's very important at the moment to use social media to stay connected to friends and family, I would still recommend that you take regular breaks from social media. Um, just taking some time away from a screen, just focusing on yourself is really, really good for you so that you're not looking at other people's lives and comparing yourself to what other people are doing, even in a lockdown. And in fact, I would recommend that you turn off all devices with a screen at least an hour before you go to bed because looking at a screen can delay sleep and we've already discussed that sleep and regular sleep is very good for you. Number six. Now, we're going to help with this uh, later on this week, but number six is do something kind for someone every day. One of the best ways for you to feel good about yourself is to make somebody else feel good about themselves, to share the love. 
So if you can help someone out or give someone a compliment or tell them how much you appreciate them and make them smile, making somebody else smile is very, very good for your own mental well-being. You should try it and we're going to challenge you to do that later this week. Uh, number seven. Number seven is listen to music. Music is very, very good mentally. So take some time to yourself, put on a pair of headphones, close your eyes, lie down, listen to music and just be in that moment. It's very good. It's called mindfulness. It's very good for you. Number eight. Now, I may have said this before. Read a book. Not only does reading help with your literacy and your intelligence, make you a cleverer person, but also in times like this where our movements are restricted and we're looking at the same four walls, it can transport you to a different place, to a different planet. It's very, very good to escape what we're experiencing at the moment with a good book. It helps you to relax. Number nine. Number nine is stay curious. Um, try new things, look into new things, research into new things. Uh, give yourself something new to focus on. It's very good to alleviate the boredom and to stop you from feeling low. And number 10, if you can, try to laugh every single day. It's not easy sometimes. However, if you can, watch a funny film or a funny TV show or just have fun with your friends and your family. Um, like exercise, laughing releases endorphins and that is good for you. Okay, so. I hope you found that useful and I hope you uh, endeavour to give some of these a try. One final thing I'd like to say is that um, sometimes it's impossible to tell if somebody's having a bad time. So what you need to do is try to treat everybody with kindness and respect because you will help people who are feeling low even if they've not told you about it. That's quite important. Uh, at the end of this, as ever, the cooch uh, details will be up on the screen so that you can get help if you need it. Uh, have a very, very good week and we will speak soon. Bye-bye.